What's up guys? <clears throat> so I want to talk about how God has uh, spoken to me, revealed himself to me as I grew as a Christian. <clears throat> the Bible says that you can grow as a Christian and just because you became a Christian say 40 years ago, that doesn't mean you're necessarily a mature Christian. Um, you grow in stages. But your growth as a Christian depends on the effort that you put into it. So if you're spending time reading the Bible, spending time uh, meditating and focusing and seeing how it applies to you, reading books that go along with the Bible, like on certain topics, um, that type of thing. If you, your growth, just like building muscle, depends on you. So um, back to the point, when I was a, new Christian and I was seeking God because the Bible says if you draw near to him he draws near to you um, God would speak to me in different types of ways these ways were all very elementary because um, that's the only way that I could really receive it like God's primary God's primary way is speaking to you through your inward witness that is the primary way that um, a Christian will receive direction from God the Bible says that the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord so he'll enlighten you and guide your paths by that inward knowing that inward witness um, on the inside and that's God's primary way of doing it not fleeces not getting with this fleece you know like God if you do this that means I know that this is the way you want me to go no, because even though that happened in the Old Testament, the people in the Old Testament were not born again. So um, he had, they didn't have any inward direction, inward witness. So God had to deal with them differently by having them uh, see things or having the uh, fire by night guide them in the cloud by day because that's what they saw. They didn't have the inward witness on the inside to be led because the, the devil can play with the physical realm because Satan and demons are in this physical realm so if you tell God um, have have uh, the mail come at 2 p.m. tomorrow and I know if it comes at 2 p.m. that means you want me to go do this the devil could make that happen so the the safest way is be led by the inward witness now back to my point so God led me by very elementary ways like I would ask him a question about a certain Bible topic and I would turn on the TV and it'd be on a uh, preaching show and that person, the preacher, would answer specifically the question I had right as I turned it on. Or I remember there was, uh, I was listening to like a Christian radio broadcast and I had a question, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. And um, it was like, should Christians, um, like if you go to a place where it's primarily Muslim, should Christians wear the Muslim garb to be accepted or whatever? And I'm like, and they were saying, yeah, you should, you know, you want to be nice and da 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 da. And I'm like, no, that's not right. And then so I asked God about that. And I went in my basement, opened up a Bible, and it says, you make vain uh, the, oh gosh, what does the scripture say? It said, um, you are making void. God's commandment for your tradition and I forget the exact details but God would lead me like another one I was asking like why was Billy Graham used so much and you know I just went in the car went in my car turned on the radio and and the person said Billy Graham was used by God because he was very very humble and I'm like oh my gosh it was like tons of signs like that because that was easy for me to understand but when I got more mature in the things of God, God changed how he spoke to me primarily. And that was God speaking to me through the inward witness. So now when I want to hear from God, I'm not going to like ask him and then maybe turn on a radio or turn on the TV or go to a certain Bible scripture or he doesn't have to have somebody come up to me and say something that answers my question. Now, once you're more spiritually mature, God can deal with you as he wants to because it says in Hebrews, by uh, practice, you gain maturity and know uh, 
the difference between good and evil. You know what I mean? It says Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14. So it's by practice. And as you begin to spend more time with God, you get to be sensitive on the inside and God can deal with you. So now if it's like if I want to know a question about a Bible scripture or what do I do in life, um, I pray and Colossians says that uh, you have, well, the Bible says, um, Colossians chapter 3, verse 15, that let the peace of God settle with finality all thoughts that arise in your mind. you got to let that peace on the inside guide you. And then, so, in other words, you ask God a question or whatever's on your mind. You pray in tongues about it. The Bible says in James chapter 1 that if any man lacks wisdom or doesn't know what to do, let him ask of God, and it will be given to him. It says in Proverbs, acknowledge God in all your ways, and he'll direct your paths. So you acknowledge God, you believe for wisdom on the topic, you pray in tongues about it, and that makes you very, the Bible says that when you pray in tongues, you draw up wisdom. So when you got that peace on the inside, like, yeah, yeah, I think that's right, I'm going to do it. Um you know that's the green light to go ahead and do it. And then when you see it work, you start to gain confidence in that. You're like, yeah, yeah. That. And then so the next time you got a question, you, um, and this could also be like God giving you a, aha, yeah, that's right. Like if you have a question about how to solve a certain problem and the solution just comes to your head after you pray for it for a while, that's God leading you. But like I said, these things start to happen when you, grow in God and become more spiritually mature. Like if God has um, a certain job for you to go to, you know, to be led by the Spirit of God, it's going to be hard by your inward witness right off the bat because that's kind of a big thing. But um, yeah, like now when God leads me, uh, I'll, I'll, sp I'll only look for the inside and not pay attention to the outside. And as you grow in God, um, that is how he'll lead you as well because that's a sure witness. One other thing, when God le does lead you, it will be in line with the scriptures. Okay, so if you can find scriptures on it, you know it's God. God's not going to say, uh, go burn down that building because, you know, God's not the author of confusion or destruction. Okay, um, but if he says, why don't you go forgive this person, we know that the Bible backs that up. So the Bible says, that um, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, which is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. These three are one. First John uh, chapter 5 says that. So if you feel the Holy Spirit's leading you to do a certain thing, it will be backed by the Word. Okay? So if you can't find scripture for it, don't do it. And obviously, you know, the Bible doesn't say go to uh, Michigan State, you know, so... So just keep that in mind. Like, in other words, like, if you think God wants you to marry this person, but this person's already married, okay, you know what I mean? That doesn't match up. So just keep these things in mind. Any questions, comment down below. I'll answer them. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like the channel. Share a video. Uh, it'll help the video or the channel grow. Okay?